9 to noon. Let's jump right into it. We do a sports trivia game. We've been doing it since March of 2020. And just like a lot of things in this world, some things are different, some things are the same. And it can be annoying. But not when we do Stump the Snob, 9 to noon. Uh, Brett Blakemore loves undertaking this trivia task anytime he fills in. I've, I've said, hey, why don't I just do it and you play, Brett? But you just uh-huh. you beg every single week for the opportunity to That's prepare right. this. Uh, categories and higher point value Hail Mary questions will be next segment. Uh, but first, picking them off, joining me now, Corey Cove meets us, Paul Lambert of the Power Trip Morning Show. Are you guys going to Vegas next week? Yeah, I just uh, was going to make sure you knew that, that next week we will not be playing this game because I don't know if you had heard yet. But, yeah, we are going to Las Vegas next Wednesday. We'll, we'll be con- halfway there. Congratulations. That's going to be awesome. Uh, Vegas is up and moving again, which is great. Uh, we're going to be at Vikings training camp, so we don't even need you. No, that's way worse than Las Vegas. What you got? What you have to do, though, at some point is convince. It, uh, that's that's way worse than no, what we're going to be doing. No, that's sweet. Yeah, but Vegas is a thousand times better. My Vegas point is, is, is one of these one of these years, maybe starting in 2022, can you just talk your guy into doing 7 to 10 in Vegas? 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. You have the whole rest of the day to do whatever you want. It's the greatest. What yeah. If, what if he doesn't want to go to Vegas because he doesn't want to be seen in Vegas? Well, he goes out to that, you know, to that, one, to that yeah. one place. Doesn't want to be seen in Vegas. What do you mean? I don't know. I think he just likes to spend his own quality time out there. I think he likes. Oh, I, I think he puts on a trench coat. I think he may. Act. I got it. So he's got a punch card at the Bunny Ranch. Is that he what you're might saying? Have full body latex. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. Be you. Yeah, which, we're not going to judge. Which I think the Bunny Ranch is one hell of a drive from Vegas, actually. Ask yeah. Lawyer Lambert Isn't and Isn't it Rosen. outside of Carson? Yeah, Uncle Winjum, though, would get him a car. Yeah, I mean, they'd know. Rosie's got it plugged into his GPS, yeah, so oh, yeah. you can just talk to Rosie about it. Uh, anyway, no, one of these years, it'd be fun to have you guys out there. I, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be back-to-back. You guys have the Power Trip Faithful, which is just incredible, massive humanity. And we would have a fair amount. I mean, you get PA in charge. We'd have like Lieberin or Bursich and all these it guys. It would be come like out. a Friday football yeah, feast just every day. For two yeah. days. Yeah. It would be so much fun. Maybe next city year. That, uh, no, that'd be amazing. Then we get Common to come with. We get Barrero to come with. We get Fan Outdoors to come with. We just make a whole Thursday out of it. What about in the zone? No, I'm just saying, so we start on Thursdays. We get Tackle no, Terry Tuma point. and the Captain Billy Hildebrand and everybody else. I don't know who was on that show. Put a, put a little duck boat out in the Bellagio. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, sports trivia. Picking them off. What do you got, Brett? Picking them off. Yeah, we got three lists. We're going to go around the table and see how many we can name off here. Let's start with this. Uh, all-time rushing yard leaders in the NFL. Top Co- 15. Career? Career. Okay. Top 15, I will say uh, Emmett Smith. He's number one. Uh, Barry Sanders. Uh, number four. Um, I will say um, LT. Uh, number seven. How about Adrian Peterson? Is he there yet? Uh, yes, number five. Uh, Curtis Martin. Number six. Good Good nicely done. Um, I will go with, uh, I mean, OJ. Oh, wow. OJ's not on that list. Ooh. Uh, I will say Frank Gore. Hmm. Number three. Snipe me. Um, uh, Jim Brown. Uh, number 11. I didn't. Uh, cool. Yeah, who are? Uh, Sweetness. Peyton. Mm. Oh, yeah, two. Sorry. I was. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was okay. Uh, how about Edgerin James? Yeah, 13. Good pull. Oof. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just trying to think of guys. I'm going to screw this up. Five. Uh, Eddie George. I mm. ran out of names. Core. Um, hmm. Five. Jamal, uh, yeah, Jamal Lewis. I don't think he played long enough, but he was so good. Um, I think yeah, he was. Did anyone say Sanders? No, did, Barry. Did. Yeah, Corey did. Or early, Corey yeah. did. Um, Jerome Bettis was on mm-hmm. there. Marshall yeah. Falk. Yep. Uh, Franco Harris and Marcus Allen were the last two. All right. Um, second list here. Wild. 
all-time points leaders. Hmm. Top 16 wild point leaders. I'll say... Uh, well, I go no, first. No, I go first. Oh, oh. Uh, Miko Koivu. He's number one. Um, I'll go Zach Parisi. Number three. I'll say Marion Gabrick. Number two. Uh, Suter. Number four. Um, I will say... Spurgeon. Uh, number eight. I will say... I'm just in that habit of saying something stupid before I give an answer. Uh, Charlie Coyle. Number 10. Really? Um, brunette. Uh, yes, number six. Uh, Nick Schultz. Mm. Uh, ooh. All right. Pierre Marc Bouchard. Number five. Uh, <clears throat> Ralston. 14. Good pull. Nino Niederreiter. Number 12. What? Hmm. Jason Zucker. Number nine. Are you kidding? <laughs> how many how many are left? Great question. A few. One, two, three, four, five, three six, seven, points. eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We've gone through eleven. I think you have four, Saucy. You have three. I've got three for yeah. Saucy. Oh, screw you then. <laughs> Anybody? I'm out of uh Ooh, this is tough. Five. Ani Loxinen. <laughs> Uh, uh, that Dumba number 15. Okay, got lucky. Um, Three, five. Two. Uh, how about uh, Richard Park? Okay, uh, Stahl, Pominville, Brunette. Uh, I said Brunette, yeah, yeah Brandland. Uh, yeah, Brent Burns is number 16. So I have Corey with 10. I have eight. Sauce has three. Is that yep, accurate? That's what I got as well. Sweet. Sweet. Final list. Final list. Vikings passing yard leaders all time. How many? Uh, 15. Who? Vikings all time passing well, yard leaders. Brand Tarkington. That's number one. Nice job, Saucy. Thanks. <laughs> I'll get one, maybe. Dante Culpepper. That's number three. Uh, Tommy Kramer, number two. Um, I'll go with well, uh, Kirk Cousins, number four. Brad Johnson, number six. Wade Wilson, uh, yes, number five. Deadpool. Um, I'll go. Um. Five. Um, I uh, I have no idea. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Joe Cap. Yep, number thirteen. Oh man, Tavares Jackson, number fifteen. You're up to thirteen points. Yep. How about Teddy? Uh, yes, number eleven. Um, Cunningham, number twelve. What? He played there a year and a half. How bad are we? <laughs> so there's Warren Moon in the mix. He's number seven. Good one. I'm um, out. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Man, five. Jeff George. Can I at least tie it up here? Come on. Brett Favre? There we go. Number oh, what, eight. Oh, for God's sakes. Favre? Is eighth all time? Eighth all time. a season and a half. There's a significant drop off between yeah, seven and eight. We're awful. Rich Gannon? Number 10. Oh, man. 
That's all I got. Buzz me out. Well, if it's if you can play a year and a half or so, then Ponder's got to be on that list too. Ponder's number nine. Damn it! Wow. Um, also, let's see. Did we get Cunningham? Yes. Yep. Sam yeah. Bradford. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Bradford. Yeah. What is, let me guess. Keenum's Bradford's. on the list. Uh no. Oh, thank God. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, after uh, picking him off. I did take the lead there late with 15, Corey with 14, Saucy with five. When we return, categories and Hail Mary questions. Let's get serious about this, and let's get serious about the opportunity to send somebody to a Vikings game. Uh, We have tickets all week, and right now I believe we still have some tickets to Vikings and Broncos. August 14th, it's Saturday at 3 p.m. You have the opportunity to be one of the first rubes to put your butts back in seats at U.S. Bank Stadium. All you got to do is be no- caller number nine, 651 989 5326, 800 5326, and answer this trivia question. Take it away, Brett. Yeah. What's the, the most amount of touchdowns the Vikings have ever scored in a single game? Caller number nine. You're listening to Nordo in for PA on the fan. All of your water issues, Connecticut.com. Hey, get to ProfilePlan.com. Learn more about Profile by Sanford. It's a weight loss program developed by doctors and researchers at Sanford Health. And the cool thing about it, you you follow the program, you commit to it, you will lose weight. And you're going to accomplish your goal. You're going to cross the finish line. You're going to feel amazing, and you should. But the question that Profile by Sanford attempts to answer, and they're really, really good at it, what's next? Is there a possibility of making this the last weight loss journey of your life, creating a lifestyle change? That's what they're trying to do. And with all these locations and all these success stories, all these people at the fan having success with it as well, I'll tell you they're very good at it. Profileplan.com to learn more. Cracks in your foundation, bowling walls, your doors and windows are sticking. You need to contact Safe Basements of Minnesota. Sam from Richfield did. My realtor suggested Safe Basements, and I was able to fix the foundation prior to buying my dream home. Safe Basements has been your local and trusted expert for over 30 years. Contact us today. What's going on, folks? That is way too loud. Uh, We are uh, here watching Stump the Snob on uh, all of our KFN social media platforms. I'm Zach Halverson, and uh, we're just uh, hanging out during the break. I want to thank Pilot Games for uh, for making this all possible. PilotGames.com. Enjoy their uh, their wonderful, awesome games uh, at bars uh, and r- restaurants throughout uh, the Twin Cities and, and Minnesota as well. Uh, hashtag I support MN Charities. Uh, wonderful, awesome people there. I want to encourage you uh, to join in on the comments here. Uh, go, go ahead and play along uh, as well. I know we uh, have a very tight one here, but, of course, uh, the great thing about Stump the Snob is you can play at home uh, as well, and uh, you can see if you can uh, stump the snob yourself. So, yeah, 15 to 5 to 14 sauce uh, trailing, but, again, we still uh, have higher point values coming up, of course. Uh, we have the, the 4 3 two, one, uh, Jeopardy style around before of course, the infamous Hail Mary. So uh, be sure to uh, either join in the comments, of course, tweet us at KFN1003. Uh, you can uh, uh, follow us all on there and uh, and on Facebook as well. Uh, join, in the, uh, join in the conversation and uh, get your guesses in as well. And uh, again, play along. So uh, we will uh, head back here in just a, a few minutes uh, and get back to uh, the wonderful Stump the Snob game. Uh, and uh, for now, We'll throw it back over to the studio cam. We can uh, see what the wonderful uh, folks, Eric Nordquist, Corey Cove, and uh, Sauce are up to uh, as they prepare for another round of Stump the Snob here on The Fan. 
president of Bank of America Twin Cities. My teammates and I are proud of our ongoing partnership with Emerge. Together, we're connecting more people to new skills and better jobs. What would you like the power to do? Bank of America and a member of FCIC, credit opportunity lender. The reasons to treat yourself to a frozen drink. All right, just to clarify, we've got a comment from Jake asking why there's a bear's hat in the corner. Uh, this, as I almost destroy this bottle, this is a white bear lake bears hat not a not a chicago bears hat so this is the old logo from back in the day not a bears hat some people are wondering no don't worry we're not bears fans here we're vikings fans we do have to get more stuff by the way and i will i was going to actually ask about this if you have more stuff that uh, we should put up here apparently we just have like an, uh, an old phone an ebay box or whatever but uh you know send it 1600 utica avenue south St. Louis Park, 55416 or something, Sweet 500. We'd love to uh, dress this up a little bit more because it, uh, it is definitely messy. We got we to gotta clean this stuff up. So, uh, yeah, no worries. No, uh, no, no bear stuff. We do need more Viking stuff here, though. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we are, I think, like a minute or two away from getting back to uh, Stump the Snap. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Again, let's go check out what they're doing. You're confident, and you start calling everyone ace, and you're better than that. Well, GEICO has a 97% customer satisfaction rating and has been saving people money for 85 years. It's hard to beat that. But you're right. Switch to GEICO. It's obviously a good idea. Summer happens at Speedway because everything you need for summer happens at Speedway. Like drinks. Drinks happen. The freshly brewed drink, the splashed over ice drink, the wake you up drink, the cool you off drink, the make your brain hurt for a minute drink. All poured however you want them, whenever you want them, all summer long. So on every hot day, you have something cold to sip. Speedway, summer happens here. And now, get any size fountain or speedy freeze for just 99 cents. Excludes maximum. My level of excitement to get back to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch games and sweat games and have those second to none wings and be with a bunch of people who are cheering because they're excited and weeping and sobbing because their favorite team has just taken the fattest of L's. Come back to your home away from home, Buffalo Wild Wings. We're all in it for the same thing, sweating those games, eating those wings. Reunite with those friends where you belong. You have $3 Tall House beer, plus wall-to-wall -wall screens with elite sporting events and all of our friends post-lockdown. If you're looking to fill that sports bar-shaped hole in your heart, it's time to get back in the game at B-Dubs. At participating locations, delivery subject to availability fees. than anywhere else in the Twin Cities. This report is sponsored by Meineke Car Care Centers. Fan forecast. Mostly cloudy with an air quality warning, high of 84. Is your car as road trip ready as you are? Stop by your independently owned and operated Meineke, your one-stop shop for total car care. Make your appointment today for your free road trip check at a participating location. See store for details. Engine, brakes, tires, oil, Meineke. Doing car care right. Back to 9 to noon. Live in the 651 Carpets, home of the Next Day Install Studios. On FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. Welcome back, 9 to noon. Congratulations to Danielle and Blaine. We got a ton of tickets. We're doing three a day. Two more today. Three each Thursday, Friday. Might have some more for you on Monday as well. But uh, we want to get your booties back in the seats of U.S. Bank Stadium. Hell yeah. Whether it's for the Broncos August 14th or it's for the Colts on the 21st as we get this uh, 2021 preseason underway. But we have Stump the Snob underway. 
Following last segment, I do have the lead at 15 points. Corey Cove with 14, Saucy with five, but it's anybody's game. Categories now, four categories, ascending point value for four questions each. And uh, Brett, tell us what the categories are. Categories. Uh, who plays there makes its return from last week. These are stadiums because I don't know why. I felt like it. Um, stadiums uh, in the big four sports. Trading spaces. That is uh, Minnesota Wild players involved in trades. Uh, not Randy Moss. These are Vikings wide receivers, not Randy Moss. Uh, and Rivals Abroad, these are famous Minnesota killers that are not from the state of Wisconsin. All right, perfect. So no Packers layups. I'm just going to go top to bottom here. Let's go. Sure. Who plays there for one? This football team plays in Allegiant Stadium. Paul. Oh. Uh, the um, Giants. Anyone else? Five. Eric, it is the Las Vegas Raiders. That's right. Nice job. Uh, for two. This baseball team plays in Oracle Park. Paul. Uh, that would be the uh, Seattle Mariners. All right. Oh, damn it. Five. I mean, it, it couldn't be. Eric, is is it the Athletics? Of course it's not. That's the, that's the Warriors. Damn it. Four. I'll try the uh, uh, the Rays. Be the San Francisco Giants. You're on the right track. <laughs> but you were. You had A's. It was close. Okay. Um, For three. This football team plays in State Farm Stadium. Paul, the Arizona Cardinals. That's right. Four. This hockey team plays in Wells Fargo Center. Paul, the Avalanche. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Wells Three, Fargo. Two. Corey. Er, yeah. I'll try the Flyers. That's right. Wow. How did you know that? Nice pull. Lucky guess. You take the lead. Uh, trading spaces. This center came from Nashville for Luke Paul. Mm. Uh Fiala. <laughs> Corey. Um, uh, Johansson. Oh my God, Nardo. Eric! Is it? Uh, damn it! I don't know who it is. It's uh, three. Benito, Benito, Benito. That's right. Oh hey. Ah, hmm. uh, for two. Involved in the controversial trade, sending Nino to Carolina. Paul, Corey, that's Fiala, right? Victor Rask. That's right. No oh, idea. All right, Corey with 20. I have 17. Saucy has eight. Three. Trade it for Charlie Coyle, sending Paul. him to. Uh, that would be. <laughs> he just rings in and things. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Brian Boitano. Uh, it is Ryan Donato. That's right. Tying it up. Let's go. For three. Or for four. This young B man came from Pittsburgh in the Zucker trade. Corey. Uh, Addison. That's right. How do you know that? He knows everything. Who is that? Uh, let's go. Not Randy Moss for one. Not Randy Moss for one. Spent five seasons in Minnesota before heading to Buffalo. Corey. Oh. Ooh. I, I don't know. I would say Nordo on that one. That uh, Digsy. That's right. <laughs> Two. This former Gator also played Corey. for him. I think Corey was first that time. Percy Harvin. That's right. <laughs> Three. He's on Good Morning Football. Paul. Nate Burleson. That's right. Four. Yep, four. He, he's the all-time receiving yards leader for the Vikings. Eric. Paul. Uh, Chris Carter. That's right. Uh, rivals abroad for one. This American-born skater eliminated the Wild three years in a row. Eric. Uh, it is Patrick Kane. That's right. It's not really abroad. I, mean, I said not from Wisconsin is what I said. Okay. Uh, this Yankee eliminated Paul. the... Paul. Uh, that would be Bernie Williams? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> he rings in immediately <laughs> and just day, thinks. 
the Stirred Yankees. <laughs> Barney Williams. That's a big list. Yeah, all right. This this oh, Yankee he's eliminated. A Yankee. Uh, David <laughs> Wells. Um, can you finish the question, yeah. please? This Yankee eliminated the Twins three times in a row and owns the Wolf. Eric. Oh God. Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> That's right. Nice clue. Good clue. Three. Uh, this member of the Avalanche scored 14 points in 11 games against the Wild Corey. this year. McKinnon. That's right. Nice. Last one. one. This team eliminated the Vikes in 2004, 2008, and 2017. Cool. Eric. Oh. It is the Philadelphia Eagles. That's right. Nice job. Wow. So following wow. categories, I eight points. I have 32 points, Corey with 29, and Saucy has 11. So he would, uh, Saucy, you'd have to run the board here in right. Hail Mary questions to tie me for a uh, for a tiebreaker. Otherwise, Corey, obviously very much in it. Hail Mary questions, three questions were six, seven, and eight points, respectively. Five initials like clues, use your name as your buzzer. What's the six-point question? Hail Mary. Has only played for two professional teams. Has won a title abroad and was an all-star here this year. Has a career 3.7 ERA in the MLB. His first pro team was the Hokkaido Nepal. Eric, is it uh, Shohei Otani? That's right. Yeah! Right? For seven here, he's played two seasons for a team called... Phila Tha- oh boy, Phila Thakios? Sure. Okay, do we need the dump button here? What the nope, hell? Nope, nope, we don't. Uh, he's a two-time MVP. Harry, right. it's Eric. Uh, it is Giannis. the great one. It's yep. Giannis. Right. That's right. That'll wrap it up. Good one, Nordo. Eight-point question for the hell of it. Yeah, why not? Uh, this running back is a former Seminole. Corey, Dalvin Cook. Ooh. Was a second round draft pick for the Rams in 2020. Oh, um, Eric. Oh, uh, I believe. I don't know if it's Cameron, but it's definitely Cam Akers. That's right. Nice Domination. Job. Good one. All right. I Good won. Performance. Pretty anticlimactic, but Corey was in the mix. Saucy. Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. You know, he plays really awesome music. He's a, he's a classical guitarist. You guys don't care. Thanks to Corey Cove, Meat Sauce, Paul Lambert. For participating in this week's edition of Stump the Snob Weekly Sports Trivia, which won't be weekly because a week from now we are at Vikings training camp. Speaking of football, to the college ranks, Minnesota Golden Gophers football. They open up, man, was that five, six weeks from now? They'll be playing Ohio State. There will be butts and seats at Huntington Bank Stadium. That's awesome. But Big Ten Media Days are upon us starting tomorrow. I think PJ Fleck. We'll be addressing the media somewhere in the neighborhood of 11, 11, 15, somewhere in that area. And he's in Indy and a guy that's covering in front to back. His name is Ryan Burns, go for illustrated. And uh, you hear him with us every single year in studio and beyond. And uh, we're going to chat with him, catch up on the maroon and gold next second hour, nine to noon, more Vikings tickets to give away. Uh, you'll get to hear from Johnny athletic on the NBA softy in Seattle. We'll jump back into the hockey team with a bit of Seahawks, Vikings trash talk. Uh, All of that is ahead. You're listening to 9 to Noon of the Fan.